Hello and welcome. So I'm very interested in the Indian stock market and I wanted to do some analysis with the Sensex components. By the way, the Sensex is the largest Indian stock market index. I had quite a hard time to get the individual stock prices, so I thought of sharing with you how I got both the current and historical stock price data of the 30 Sensex components. So let's get right into it. The first step is to import some necessary libraries, that is Y Finance and also Pandas. And now I want to get the 30 components of the Sensex and therefore I'm going on Yahoo Finance, search for the Sensex, pick the S&P BSE Sensex here, go on Components and now I'm just reading in this HTML table here. And Pandas has a pretty handy function for that, which is read underscore HTML. And now we just need to provide the link as a string here. So I can just, yeah, copy paste that link inside those parentheses. And what I'm doing also here is using a zero index because otherwise I would get a list and I just want to show you the data frame resulting out of this request here. So as you see now, we are getting a data frame containing the table you just saw on Yahoo Finance. And I'm storing that in a variable which I'm calling df here. And now the next step is to access this column here and store that in a list. So I'm executing that first. And now I'm just using the symbol column and get that to a list and store that in a variable which we are calling tickers. Okay, so let's print that out. As you see, now we have those symbols here in a list. And normally, you could just use yf.download and provide the tickers as the argument and then you would get stock prices for all those ticker symbols. This is working, for example, for the Dow Jones, for the S&P or for the German equity index and many more indices here. But you will see, let's execute that, that we are getting a lot of error messages and the consequence is we are getting an empty data frame. So this didn't work. Nevertheless, we need those tickers lists to do the right amendments. So the next step is to, yeah, use another library here. So you have to install a library which is called BSE data. So I'm doing that here, but you see that the requirement is already satisfied in my case because I already installed that. So let's get rid of that. And now I'm just following the official documentation. I will link that in the video description that is from BSE data.bse. I'm importing BSE and now I'm instantiating here. So I'm assigning B to BSE and parentheses. And now with this B, I can get quotes for so-called script codes. And these numbers here are script codes. So let's test that for the 500010. So we don't need dot bo here. So let's use b dot get quote and then let's just provide 500010 as an example for one of the stocks in the Sensex. And what we are seeing now is yeah, a dictionary containing yeah, different information. For example, the company name, housing, development, finance, and we even get the current value and the date when it was updated the last time. And interestingly, we are also getting a security ID. And yeah, by somehow by coincidence, I found out that you can use this security ID to actually get the right ticker symbols from Jehu Finance. So, well, what did I do? I searched just, just, I was interested what the security ID is about and I searched for HDFC in Yahoo Finance. So I'm showing you HDFC and I found this one here, HDFC.ns. And the consequence is that the Indian stocks have this .ns abbreviation behind the security ID in Yahoo Finance. So yeah, 
who would have known that. So I found that out by coincidence as said. But what I did now is I just have to find out the security IDs for every of those 30 components of the Sensex and then add a dot and S to that. And we will do that now. But first, I'm showing you th that you can actually get stock prices by using this security ID. So let's use yf.download. And now I'm just taking this security ID here, hgfc, hgfc.ns as an example and execute that. And now you see that we are actually getting stock prices for this stock, which is contained in the Sensex. So this is working perfectly. So what do we have to do now? Well, we just need some basic Python knowledge to do the right amendments here. That is, we're using our tickers list and now we are getting rid of all those .bo's. Why? Because we want to use this one here, bget quote, and just provide the so-called script code here. So as you see here, script code is 500010. So we can use that get quote with the script code. And we already have all those script codes contained here, right? So let's get rid of this .bo. And yeah, there are many possible ways to do that. I'm using list comprehension to do that. So I've covered that on my channel in case you are not familiar with that. In case you have any questions, um, you can drop me a comment, of course. So I'm just naming a variable here, which I'm calling codes. And what I'm doing now is I'm just deleting the last three elements of those strings here, right? I'm just getting rid of .bo. So how can I do that? I can just use indexing here and go to the uh, third last uh, element. And I'm just using for i in tickers. So if I'm executing that and print out this one here, as you see, now I'm getting all the script codes without this dot bo here, right? Now, what I have to do now is just create an empty list. So how can we call that? Yeah, let's just call that India. So I, I don't have a better name right now. And what I'm doing now is I'm using a simple for loop for i in codes. So I'm using this list here. And then I'm just using India dot append and then I'm copy pasting the syntax from above here. So I'm just using this one here, b get quote. Insert that here and provide the i here. So this is just the element in this codes list. So every script code. And what I'm doing then is taking only the security ID. So why this syntax? Because the bget quote is resulting in the dictionary. So this dictionary you see here, and I'm just accessing this value by specifying the key value of this dictionary, which is security ID, as you see here, right? So yeah, let's execute that. And this is taking some time here because we have like 30 requests, but we can already print that out to see if we got everything right. So maybe I'm cutting this, maybe not. <laughs> so, okay, now we got every security ID for the 30 Sensex components here. Pretty nice, right? And the only thing what we need to do right now is to add a dot ns to those names as I just explained. So yeah, let's create a new list and I'm using list comprehension again. So I'm just specifying data and take i plus dot ns for i, oh sorry, for i in India, right? So I'm just adding a dot ns to every of those names here for i in India. Okay, so we can execute that and print that out so that you are seeing that. So now you see .ns behind every name. And now let's try it again to get the stock price data. And we're just providing data. And 
we are getting 30 here and now as you see we are actually getting stock prices for all indian stocks awesome right so yeah let's store that in a variable that we can do some visualizations here so i'm just calling that frame then i'm calculating returns to make those stocks comparable so i'm specifying returns as frame take the adjusted close and the percentage change here so let's print that out now i'm getting returns so these are daily returns and i want to get rid of all those nan values so i'm just assigning returns to returns drop na and yeah now i'm just accumulating those returns so i'm specifying one plus returns take the cumulative product out of that and yeah let's plot that now so i'm plotting that and specify the figure size let's just take 10 10 here and let's see what we got as you see we are getting this insane chart of the past eight years cumulative returns remarkable is this totally out of bounds purple line bash finance so apologies if i'm pronouncing that wrong and be kind invited to correct me and just that you know so this is not 80 percent but eight thousand percent so even those stocks here were performing insanely and we are talking about the last eight years you know so just absolutely insane so i think the indian stock market very interesting in the most recent past and in my opinion at least um, very interesting in the upcoming future so be kindly invited to drop me your comment on that if you're interested in yeah stock price analysis uh, related to indian stocks also let me know and i uh, thank you very much for watching and i'm looking forward to seeing the upcoming videos see you next time bye bye